This video is sponsored by HubSpot. A 2023 GitHub developer survey revealed that a whopping 92% of programmers use AI tools now in their work. And if you too want to become more productive, you must know which AI assistant to choose. So I found a couple AI tools for software developers that are scary good. So good that they could eventually wipe out junior and middle programmers. So. Let's see what they can do. The first AI to try is Amazon Code Whisper. Code Whisper is designed to boost your efficiency by automating code and tasks and speeding up the development process within familiar APIs. It's like having a coding buddy that not only helps you write code faster, but also smarter. Once installed, Code Whisper offers a ton of features accessible directly within your environment and it supports a wide range of programming languages and IDEs. It's pretty flexible, which makes it a very popular choice among developers one of the core functionalities of Code Whisper is its ability to provide real-time code suggestions. You can simply start typing a comment about what you want to do, like creating a function to upload a file to an S3 bucket, and Code Whisper will offer you a snippet of code that accomplishes that task. This feature is not just about speed, it's about making your coding process more intuitive. Though I think you still need to test the suggestions of the Code Whisper. Maybe you should adopt some sort of a test-driven development approach where you write your test cases before your functions. Just make sure that suggestions align with your project's requirements and that you maintain your standard of code quality. But back to the Code Whisper. It can also generate unit tests, data samples, and even regular expressions. It also includes a security scan feature that can identify potential security issues in your code, offering suggestions to fix them. In today's development environment, this is absolutely crucial, a huge win for AI. And if you were concerned that the suggested code may resemble open source training data, Code Whisper addresses that. It has a reference log feature that flags such suggestions, giving you the details about the license and repository of the original code. This transparency allows you to make informed decisions about using the suggested code, ensuring compliance with licensing requirements. One of the really huge features of the Code Whisper is understanding context between files. When you're working on a project, it's common to have your code spread out over several files, such as separating your classes from your unit tests. Code Whisper doesn't just consider the code in the current file, it also takes into account the code in other files that are open or related to your project. For example, if you're writing unit tests, Code Whisper can suggest imports and functions based on the classes defined in another file, ensuring that your tests are aligned with your code's functionality. Another powerful feature is Code Whisper's ability to automatically generate data samples. This might not sound much to you, but to those who dig programming, this is huge. For example, if you're developing a function that processes a list of items, Code Whisperer can generate a list of sample items for you. This not only saves time, but also allows for more thorough testing. Code Whisperer is available for free, but also has a pro version with more features for $19 a month. Okay, let me just make a quick stop here and tell you about HubSpot, the sponsor of this video. I believe we share a common goal, self-improvement, especially at work. I recently stumbled upon a fantastic guide titled A Complete Guide to Data Analytics and it's been quite a read. This guide takes you through the basics, from fundamental principles and essential definitions to the various types of data analytics. It even explores the integration of AI in data analytics, but what really stood out to me was the section on data visualization. It's fascinating how presenting data visually can transform complex information to something easily understandable and digestible. This part Part showed me the power of a well-crafted chart or graph. It's not just about making data look pretty, it's about making it speak to you, revealing trends and insights you might not have noticed before. It's one thing to have data, but another to interpret it in a way that's both insightful and actionable. This guide is a game changer for anyone looking to learn something new and exciting with seemingly trivial stuff. You should definitely check it out, and it's available for free. So just hit the link below to get your copy. The second option you can go with is GitHub Code. Pilot. It's somewhat similar to Code Whisper, but also very different. Powered by OpenAI's Codex, it's designed to offer real time code suggestions and generate code snippets based on comments within the code. And there is also the autocomplete feature that finishes code for you. It's not only spitting up the development, but also can teach you new libraries and coding patterns you never thought of. However, it's not without its limitations. While Copilot is really good at generating code based in context, it sometimes struggles with more complex tasks like algorithm design or understanding nuance requirements. But when it comes to those unit tests, 
it kind of lags behind. The main challenge of unit tests is that writing them requires a deep understanding of the code's intent, edge cases, and the ability to anticipate potential failures. The challenge here is not just about generating code that works, but creating tests that can effectively validate the code's correctness under various scenarios. Copilot can handle simple tests based on the surrounding code, but it struggles with more complex tests and scenarios that require that understanding of the code's purpose. Devs online point out that it can be very pattern-driven, which significantly limits the effectiveness. Developers have also found that while Copilot can assist in drafting unit tests, achieving optimal results often requires guiding the tool with detailed method names, parameters, and sometimes step-by-step -step instructions. I've also noticed that developers have mixed opinions about the generate from comments feature. On one hand, it simplifies the process of translating thoughts into code, making it easier for developers to outline their logic and have Copilot fill in the gaps. This can be super useful for novice and inexperienced developers who are new to a project. On the other hand, the reliance on comments to guide code generation means that the clarity and specificity of these comments become crucial. Vague or ambiguous comments can lead to less than optimal code suggestions. Here it basically turns into prompt engineering, which sometimes can slow down the process instead of speeding it up. Overall, it's a great tool for developers, but needs to be used with caution and consideration. Remember about that TDD approach we've talked about earlier. But hey, there is always a third option, Codium AI. Codium AI stands out by focusing specifically on testing your code and helping you improve it, rather than trying to be a jack of all trades code completion tool. This approach makes Codium AI really good at generating test suites and and offering meaningful code suggestions. For example, when testing a factorial function, Codium AI not only generates the test suite with a customizable framework, but it also covers the happy path and edge cases. Codium also identifies behaviors and potential errors that the original code might not handle. Each test can be conducted individually and Codium can even fix errors for you automatically. This level of detail in the test cases means that Codium AI can help you catch errors in your code that you might not have even considered. However, Codium AI isn't without its flaws and mistakes can find their way into the tests. For example, it can suggest returning one for a non-numeric input value where throwing an error would be more appropriate. Luckily for each test, we can write our suggestion and have the AI rewrite the test in a correct way. But that's still not everything it can do because Codium can also explain your code. It provides a detailed analysis of your code, including the inputs, the flow, and the output, and it all looks similar to the documentation you usually get when you join a project. This feature is not only helpful for understanding and improving your own code, it can also be super useful when working with code written by others. Now, instead of spending hours figuring out how someone's code work, you can do it with Codium in a couple minutes. And after all this, Codium still finds ways to impress by giving useful suggestions for improving your code. It has a special tab for that that sits next to the one with code explanation. Codium offers actionable advice, which is super important. No one wants vague suggestions like think about this. Codium might suggest you to check if the input number is a positive integer or use a loop instead of recursion to avoid stack overflow errors and so on. What devs like the most about Codium is that it doesn't overpromise or try to handle tasks beyond its capabilities. Instead, it focuses on what it does best, improving your code and creating thorough test cases. Then there's also tab nine, another great option to consider. Tab nine offers two things auto completion of code and an AI chat, all within various IDEs, including VS Code. For example, when typing out a function, such as a factorial one, tab nine can predict and auto complete the entire function without the need to write the full code. And the code it produces looks really good and will surely do what it should. As for that chat feature, we can ask it for stuff and get detailed answers, though sometimes they can be incorrect or have minor mistakes in them. For example, when questioning the time complexity of a factorial function, tab nine initially provides a correct answer, but then contradicts itself. But hey, that's AI, it too makes mistakes. You can also request explanations about code within a special command, and it will give you a detailed explanation to the best 
of its abilities, of course. Tab 9 can also suggest ways to fix your code if you made any mistakes. Here, the quality of the responses also varies. Sometimes it suggests the right fix straight away, and sometimes you have to check another variant of the response. Additionally, Tab 9 can assist with code commenting. It can generate comments based on your code, although the accuracy may vary. You can also ask it to generate test cases for your code, which can be helpful. It even provides options for test case generation, allowing you to choose how you want the test cases to be generated. However, tab nine does have its limitations. Sometimes it may provide incorrect information or suggestions, and its explanations may not always be clear or accurate. For more complex functions, it might struggle to provide complete solutions, leaving some parts to be fixed manually. Overall, Tab 9 is a decent code completion assistant that's easy to learn and very intuitive to use. However, it is not perfect and sometimes can provide incorrect answers and go off course. So just be careful with it. And if all that doesn't fit your liking, you can always try Cody. Source Graph Cody, I mean. Just like its competitors, Cody suggests code completions based on the context of your code. For example, if you're writing a function, Cody can automatically complete it for you, saving you time. And just like tab nine, it also has an AI chat. There you can ask questions about code, just like we did before. And just like tab nine, it can give inaccurate responses. In terms of fixing code, Cody can find issues like incorrect base cases and functions. You can ask Cody to fix the code and it will suggest corrections, but we've seen all that before. Cody can also assist in writing code from scratch, generating boilerplates or even specific code based on your repository's contents. I find that really impressive. Not so many AIs can do that. It's like a signature thing of Cody. For example, you can ask Cody to write an API request tailored to your project's needs. And this way to keep the code relevant and on point. In terms of testing code, Cody can generate unit tests based on your code snippets. By analyzing the supporting code and context, Cody creates unit tests along with explanations of what each test checks for. Again, really useful stuff here. You can also use Cody for, let's say, if you are new to a project or reviewing a large pull request, Cody can help you quickly understand the code. By highlighting a section of code and selecting explain select code, Cody provides detailed explanations line by line, drawing from multiple files to provide context. When it comes to fixing bugs, it's also quite impressive. Cody can find code smells and suggest improvements. Those who know what code smells are, they know. Broad exception clauses, missing type hints, unused imports, and more. These are the types of mistakes that Cody can fix in seconds. Yep, it can fix them automatically either by rewriting code snippets or making inline changes. I'm telling you, Cody works almost like a real programmer. Though it will be a pretty boring coworker to drink coffee with. What a wonderful world we live in. AI code assistants suggest pieces of code, write write the code for you, do the testing and so on. They're basically like junior programmers that could work for you, making you more productive than ever. Sometimes they get a bit too creative, offering up solutions that might make you raise an eyebrow or two, but hey, that's not a big deal and easy to fix. The real magic though lies in their potential. In a couple of years, these AI assistants won't just suggest the next line of code, but help develop entire systems, offer up optimizations you hadn't even considered, or even debug in real time. We're talking about a job that becomes more about problem solving rather than about the syntax and semantics of each particular language. As these tools learn and grow from their interactions with us, they will become more nuanced, more insightful, and even more indispensable. We might see them evolve into full fledged partners in the coding process capable of understanding not just the code itself but the intentions behind it making suggestions that are not just correct but creatively inspiring that sounds so cool and somewhat pompous but who cares what you saw today is just the start and if you want to be a part of that brighter future sub to the channel thanks for watching and see you in the next one